I went back to my hometown and tried to hook up with a guy and I was catfished. I thank the Lord every day that I don't live in that little village anymore because I've just realised that that's what my life would have been like, being constantly catfished. What is this? quite masculine guy messaging me on Grindr. He sent me a photo and I thought, oh, he's cute enough, I'll meet him, whatever. We arranged to meet up in one, in a park in the village and I showed my sister a picture of him and my sister was like, he's not real. But I was like, are you sure? Because he, he was cute, but the photo wasn't like a really beautiful model or anything. So for me, it didn't seem like he was a catfish, but my sister called it. Anyway, I got to the park there was no one there except a guy in a jeep and I was like, well, it's obviously him, but I was just playing dumb and I was walking around and I was like, I can't see you. He, he messaged me and he was like, oh, sorry, I'm not coming. I didn't realise you were there. And I was like, what? So anyway, I went to leave and then a guy got out this jeep and then I text him going, is that you? And he said, yes, come inside because he walked into this container. So I went up to him and I was like, oh, sorry. I don't know why, I, I didn't realise it was you, you told me you wasn't here. And then I looked at him and I was like, wait, are you the guy in the photo? And he said, yes. And I was like, bitch, you're not the guy in the photo. So then I was like, no, you're not the guy, you, you, that's not you. And he was like, oh, yeah, it's not me. Do you want to come in here anyway? And then he looks inside the container and I was like, oh my gosh, is he going to unalive me? But then I thought, in my mum's small town village, like nothing interesting ever happened. So that just wouldn't happen. So I thought, okay, I'll go inside.